Hi there, this is Anup here. In this video, what we are going to see is basically February Patch Tuesday details. What are the vulnerabilities, zero day vulnerabilities that Microsoft declared and fixed? And there are three. And patches related to Windows 11, Windows 10. What are the fixes? What are the known issues? What are the improvements? Etc. Etc. And how to download patches manually, how to download and deploy patches through SCM and Intune. So lots to cover in this video. So let's go into it. Let's look into February 2023 patch Tuesday and the today's 14th February. That is the date where Microsoft released the February patches. And we will talk about zero day vulnerabilities, Windows 10, Windows 11 updates and server 2022 updates and fixes, non issues, improvements, etc. And how to deploy these patches through SCM and Intune. To give you an overview, Windows 10, there are two patches KB5019274, KB502284. These are for different Windows 10 versions and for Windows 11, there's a patch KB5022834 and there are a lot of fixes, improvements and there are some known issues as well, which Microsoft already declared as part of this patch Tuesday release in February 2023 and there are some important zero day vulnerabilities which we are going to look into as a first priority in the next slide zero day vulnerabilities these are must fix and we should immediately fix these vulnerabilities with february patches this only covers microsoft vulnerabilities microsoft application vulnerabilities and there are three CVE 2023-21823 that is the first one and this vulnerability is to do with Windows graphics component remote code execution vulnerability and as per Microsoft an attacker who successfully exploited this vulnerability could gain system privileges. So that's why zero day vulnerabilities are very critical and organizations should fix it as soon as possible at the earliest. And the next zero day vulnerability is CVE 2023-21715. This is to deal with Microsoft Publisher security features bypass vulnerability and as per Microsoft, an attacker who successfully exploited this vulnerability could bypass office macro policies used to block untrusted or malicious files. Basically, this vulnerability is to do with office macro policies. This is also very critical for most of the organizations or all of and that's that's why it's called as zero day vulnerability. And over here, you would be able to see the third one, CVE 2023-23376. This has to do with Windows Common Log File System Driver Elevation. And as per Microsoft, an attacker who can successfully exploit this vulnerability could gain access to system privileges, similar to graphical component remote code execution vulnerability over here. So over here, if you can check out the screenshot you can see the cve titles are mentioned over here and exploitation detected mentioned over here and the exploited column says it is yes so you need to patch and fix these vulnerabilities zero day vulnerabilities as soon as possible let's move on check the build numbers of february 2023 update for windows 10 there are different build numbers as you can see over here 22h2 build numbers 19045-2604 that is the build number for windows 10 22h2 windows 10 21h2 build number is 19044-2604 and 21h1 
build number is 1904326604 2604 is common for february patch tuesday in 2023 and for windows 10 operating system and for windows 11 if you look at this you can see the build number is windows 11 22h2 build number is 22621265 and this is the kb article and this is the availability date and you can see all these build numbers in our blog posts we are maintaining a windows 10 windows 11 version details blog post you can refer to those actually i will link those into the description of the video and for windows server 2022 the kb article released today 14th february is this one kb5014678 and the build number is 2034 8768 windows 10 kb article for february 2023 patch tuesday is kb5022834 this is for all the windows 10 versions the same kb 22h2 21h2 and 21h1 and for Windows 11 there are two KB articles one for 22H2 and that is KB5022845 and for Windows 11 21H2 the KB article is KB5022845 and let's look into some of the improvements which Microsoft produced with the february 2022 patch tuesday patches now you you would be able to see dotnet frameworks updates in the windows updates settings page if you go to advanced options and optional update page you would be able to see dotnet framework updates from this update onwards and one other important thing with this particular patch tuesday which i forgot to mention is basically microsoft is going to permanently disable the internet explorer for all the devices i will link the detailed information about that in this video description another improvement is you now onwards you would be able to see storage alerts for microsoft one drive in system page within the settings app other improvement is related to windows spotlight feature microsoft made it easy for you to discover and turn on windows spotlight feature and the other one is xbox subscription details you can check xbox subscription details from the settings apps and you can see the links over here if you want to refer you can refer to these links to get more details i will add these links to the description of the video as well now let's look into some of the fixes windows 11 fixes let's look into windows 11 fixes first and there are some dns suffix issues the issue is the parent domain might be missing when you configure dns suffix search list the parent domain might be missing and the tpm issue is also fixed with february 2023 patches fixes tpm issue that stops you from using autopilot to set up those devices so this was a very critical issue for many organizations so this issue is fixed now search indexer exe related issues got fixed with february patches and even deadlock effects with with com plus applications are also fixed with this particular update and same with ms tsc there are some issues with ms tsc exe while connecting to remote app or remote desktop connection so this is also fixed with february patches there is an issue with microsoft office the issue is basically the content might appear blank or grayed out this is because of 
web v2 issue and this is also fixed by microsoft in this february 2023 patch tuesday patches windows 10 fixes there is a flickering issue on the taskbar and windows explorer with news and interests feature that is fixed by microsoft with february patches so you can pause the video and check out the details of these fixes if you want to have a more details you can also refer to these links now let's look into known issues there are some known issues these are already documented by microsoft and then the community might have might discover some other issues later once they start testing this is a common theme for all patch tuesdays unfortunately but we will update that also in a follow up video or it will get updated in the description of the of this video so microsoft documented non issues are basically performance issue while copying large files within windows 11 22h2 and the other one is with provisioning package if you are using provisioning package in 22h2 it might not work as expected but it is not going to impact windows autopilot scenarios the other one is a very critical one this is a wsus related issue if you have migrated wsus servers from the previous version to server 2022 version then it will stop offering windows 11 22h2 patches so this is critical and this is also highlighted by microsoft and documented by microsoft that's a good one because the community doesn't need to waste a lot of time in troubleshooting what is this issue why the patches are not getting appeared or offered through the latest wsus versions so let's continue and check other known issues windows 11 known issues you can see there are some issues with app help dot dll and it is mitigated but probably it is not fixed automatically there are some mitigation steps available from microsoft so you can use that those steps or workarounds to fix this issue remote desktop connection broker might fail this is already resolved so it's not a known issue anymore there would be some issues why when you try to open start menu windows search and uwp application microsoft is already investigating this issue so this issue is not going to get fixed with february patch update so that is why we are highlighting over here application shortcuts might not work from start menu and other locations this issue is resolved already as per microsoft updates this is also resolved so the only issue which we need to concentrate on is this one and now check windows 10 known issues and it says mitigated mitigated means microsoft provided a workaround but there's no automatic fix available yet and the same for windows 10 also there's an issue while opening start menu windows search uwp applications for some of the some of the devices or some of the users and it it also explains that affected devices have apps installed which integrates with windows microsoft office or microsoft outlook now let's look at the ssem way to deploy the patches there are different videos to learn about ssem patch deployment i will link those videos into this video as well as i will add the links to the description of the video but to give you a high level overview you can go to software library overview software updates all software updates and then on patch tuesday if you have not scheduled a sync automatic sync you need to manually sync by right clicking on all software updates 
and then wait for that sync to complete once the sync is completed you would be able to see windows 11 patches as well as windows 10 patches as you see over here these are windows 11 patches okay windows 11 22 h2 patch and windows 11 21 h2 patch over here you would be able to see and then you would be able to see windows 10 patches also once you are able to see the patches you can easily deploy it by right clicking it or using adr or something like that adr is nothing but automatic deployment rules which you can configure in sscm let's go and have a look into intune how we can deploy the patches immediately how you can expedite the patch deployment there are different ways to deploy patches using Intune. This is one of the way to expedite the patch deployment. But normally if you have configured the monthly patch deployment schedule using Windows update, using Windows 10 update policies in Intune, you don't need to create a different policy like this. The policy which you created for monthly patches will take care of all the monthly patches every month so you don't need to touch that policy but if you want to expedite some of the patch deployment patches probably because of zero day vulnerability etc etc then you can use this method go to intune portal and navigate to devices and from the device node click on windows 10 quality updates and enter the name over there and description for sure expedite installation of quality updates if device os version is less than and over here you can say okay i want to expedite the updates that is february 2023 patch tuesday updates for windows 10 and windows 11 devices you can do that very easily and you can say okay i want to wait one day before i deploy patches to all the devices or you can schedule that also how many days you want to wait etc etc so there are there are some detailed blog posts available and videos available so i will link those to the description of the video to get more details about intune patch management and then if you want to download the patches February 2023 patches manually, you can go to Windows Update Catalog and you can download it from there. We have covered our patch story in HTMD blog post for February 2023 patches. Over there in that post, you will directly get an um, option to download the patches manually for Windows 10 and Windows 11. February 2023 patches. So we have seen all the details about Patch Tuesday, February 2023. Three zero day vulnerabilities, how to fix it, and lot other details like the build numbers, KB details, how to download the KBs manually, etc. etc. Hopefully, this was very useful for you. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.